Um, yeah, so I feel like the last like week and a half, there's been a ton of distractions. Yeah. And it's kind of prevented me to talk about anything besides those distractions. And I haven't been able to like talk to you about how I feel or show you how serious I am. So tonight, I feel like it's so important for me to put this on the right track because I strongly believe in you and I. And I could legitimately say that I can see myself marrying you at the end of this, 100%. I guess my question is what's changed? Because that's a big step to go from last week, you questioning like where we are and you being here versus now saying you could see yourself getting down on one knee. Like what brought that on? Like what's been the major factor in that? Well, me, that's like, a huge me step. seeing me getting down on one knee has nothing to do with me being upset and hurt because me not having time with you that night made me feel like I took a step back. I just felt maybe that night that you didn't care. And for me, I'm but all in. I, but I, again, I don't know why you would think that I didn't care because up until that point, I give you no reason to question where I was and my feelings with you. Like I gave you one of the very first one-on-ones for a reason. And I don't know why you would go from those great high feelings to being like, I'm questioning everything. Does she like me? I might go home. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. But I will say this. I need you to like not think about that anymore. Like my passion and me being here right now should give you the reassurance to help you know that like, I'm in this and I'm not someone who gives up on something I truly believe in. Well, here's the thing though. Like I came into this week done with Vegas. I wanted to leave that behind and not focus on Vegas. Like I don't want to talk about that anymore Neither. because I keep want I want to keep taking steps forward and now I feel like not only last night with the drama and during the day with the drama but like it's kind of seeped into my dates every day in Virginia. And that's been super frustrating. So what do you want? I mean, I know that we've had this little bit of adversity, but it's not something that's created by you and I. It's been things that have been... Well, I would beg to differ. Okay, you can disagree on that, but for me, I feel like this little adversity is not gonna stop me from what I believe in and what I want. Like, I'm not gonna let it end something that I feel strongly about. And, and that's where I was last week, too, to be honest. I feel like I still felt that. And this week, I was really hoping for that. I was hoping that things would turn around. But again, like, I have so many questions and red flags now that I don't know if we can get there. And I don't think we can at this point. So what are you trying to say? There's been a lot that I've heard, a lot that I've seen, a lot that I've just felt and have witnessed like in the past couple of days, not even around you, but hearing things and it scares me. I mean, yeah. I didn't go into like a lobby with my bags and got into a shuttle and then like turned around. I'm not and, saying like, that you did, and I know that you didn't because clearly but, like, you're here. But... Am I not allowed to ha express how I feel though? But it's not even that. It's not even at this point, Vegas aside, like it's not the fact that you even questioned being here. It's everything I've seen since then. And it's been a lot to take in. I know and you've heard things. I know I... that there's things been said. I've been attacked for the last week and a half. You've also and... done some attacking. Again, if I'm being honest, my relationships and picking them apart, and there are some really solid, strong relationships, and I don't think that we're there, and at this point, I don't think that we'll get there. And it's not fair to you to drag you through an entire row ceremony tomorrow.